Hello artists. Today we're going to learn how to make macrame bracelets. And this is where you're going to start. This is in the um, fiber section. So you want to make sure that you look for where it says friendship bracelets. And the thread that we're going to be using is um, on these little spools. It should have a number with it. Okay, if it doesn't have a number, it's gonna to be too thin. I like this, this is actually called embroidery thread. It's just a little bit thicker than um, the thread that's in the yellow bucket. So I think this will be a little nicer for bracelet making. Uh, definitely watch how to start and end your bracelets. Uh, that should be just above here and um, that'll help get you started. Of course, always an arm span. And um, once you've watched how to start your bracelet, skip on over to this video and I'm gonna teach you how. But I'm using um, a, a bracelet that's, or actually just yarn that's really, really big because I want you to really be able to see it um, up and close. So I'm gonna lay this out. You will learn how to do this and how to start your bracelets. Oftentimes when I do macrame, I'll even do macrame with this, which is called hemp. Um, that's just kind of a fun thing to do. Now, to start off, uh, if I was just starting, this is what I would have done long ago, which is to tape down my bracelets or my um, strings so I don't have to worry about that piece of weaving. Then, to make our, um, our, weave, our bracelet weave itself, there you go. I'm just going to do that a little bit. There you go. Um, I should have two in the center and I should have two on the outside edge. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to begin by making a, somewhat of a P, if you will. Okay. This one's way out of the way. This one's going to cross over the top of these two. Now I'm going to take the left one. So it's just, it is just a little hard to see here. Let's see if I can make it even easier. There we go. So you can really see the whole thing. Um, there we go. So this is gonna now go over the, the P. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of grab where it crosses here with my left hand. And I'm right-handed, so that's what I would do. You might be opposite. I'm gonna reach in and I'm gonna grab that left thread. And I pull it through the loop. So what we've essentially done if you know how to tie your shoes, which hopefully by now you do, if not, learn it. We've essentially tied that first knot around these pink two in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the middle ones down with my thumb and I'm pulling the purple threads, threads this way. I'm pulling them out and I'm being very careful while I do it. There we go. Now the thing about macrame, if you remember back to first grade, um, you learned how to do the twist. And the twist was like this. It's actually the same exact knot that you're tying, because that's really what you're doing is you're tying a knot. Only we flip for macrame, we flip it back and forth. The twist, we always do just one side. Macrame, we do them both. Since the last one was on the on this, the loop was on this side, I'm gonna make the loop on the left side this time. I'm gonna hold on to where it crosses and I'm gonna grab and pull that right string through. Let's not have that turn for us. Uh-oh, how did I screw up? Every now and then, my friends, that's gonna happen, okay? So don't be afraid to go, wait a minute, time out. I don't wanna do it this way. I went over. Oh, of course, this guy has got to be over here. Did you remember that from last time? Then I can pinch here and push it through up through that loop. Okay, I'm going to pull it tight right up next to the last one. And I repeat only this time I'm on the right side. Remember the P, this guy goes over right on this string. And then I can, you know, grab, I can reach in, pinch here and grab it through. There's lots of different ways. Um, the hand motions, I'll show you another way that might be more comfortable for you. I don't know, everybody's different and you'll hear me say that a lot. Everybody's really different in how they do things. Another way to hold your strings, and I, I had to alternate, right? 
is to go over this guy here, use my left hand to scoop under and my right hand kind of pushes it up under and through. So my hands are really working together. Did that seem, I'm gonna stop talking and just let you watch. If you forget, I always take a look real close. You can kind of see, see how this one has the line on the right side? That means I need to make the P on the left side. Sometimes I forget, so I have to like, okay, how did I do that? Again, you wanna hold the pink, because if you're not paying attention, look what just happened. I kinda got a bunch of yarn, kinda knotted up. So you wanna make sure that the pink is nice and straight and tight as you pull that knot tight, okay? The knot is on this side. So my loop has to be here. All right, my friends, happy making. Don't forget, watch how to end your bracelet when you're done.